Bringing Mark Spector and Stephen Grant together in one scene requires some incredible visual effects work. That's why I'm talking with Sean Faden, VFX supervisor for Marvel Studios Moon Knight. Hey, Sean. Hey, Lorraine. Nice to see you. Oh, great to see you too. Now, there are so many cool ways that we get to see Mark and Steven interacting with each other in the series. How did the team approach creating those scenes? I mean, the script always had them talking to each other, either through, sometimes it was just a voice, sometimes it was through a mirror, sometimes they were actually standing side by side. So we had to employ multiple techniques to create the relationship between Mark and Steven throughout the show. It was complicated in that, you know, Oscar had to be able to react to his dialogue, which, you know, hadn't been recorded yet. So he had an earpiece or he could hear his performance uh, while he was doing his performance or he was sometimes acting against his brother, Mikey. And then we would then re-record his Mark performance or his Steven performance with a matching camera or with this techno dolly approach. It's not surprising that so much goes into it. I mean, even just looking at episode one and one of my favorite moments where Steven and Mark finally connect and are talking through the bathroom mirror, it just seems really complicated. How tricky was it to work on? The mirror in the bathroom scene was uh, definitely one of the most complicated setups that we actually photographed during the entire shoot. Muhammad had very ambitious uh, ideas about you know, how he wanted to use the mirrors, the infinite mirrors, and how he wanted to reveal the Mark character during these moments. But it was, it was only through actually previsioning these, these shots that we really kind of found the best moments, found the really cool ideas of like, oh, if we do this, we do this, this is a great timing. And, and you, couldn't, you couldn't do this on the fly. It had to be planned out. Right before the shoot, we actually had a, a, a test set piece we had a stand-in walking through, we had, a, we had our Steadicam operator doing it, and then those pieces were actually put together by one of our supervisors, and um, it led to a, a successful shot in the end. So after you meticulously plan and then you shoot the scene, what sort of effects and techniques are you using to finalize those shots in post? So once we had all the, all the pieces, there was a tremendous amount of paint out work uh, also needed to achieve the shot. Because obviously in, in the shot with infinite mirrors, you've got infinite camera people. You have to remove Oscar's reflection because at some point it's only supposed to be Mark that, that Steven is seeing and to work out the timing for eye lines and things like that. We also needed to introduce a lot of additional um, enhancement to that bathroom because we're having these hieroglyphics glowing in the walls. As the magic is starting to happen, we had some interactive light on set. You have uh, the hieroglyphics start to kind of burn through the tile of the bathroom. I was so blown away by it. What was it like then seeing the scene in the show and seeing all the audience reactions to it? It's still probably you know, gonna go down as the most complicated and probably the most fun for the audience to take that in and sort of see how what we think is a Steven reflection is an actual Mark reflection. There was so much back and forth between all of us to support each other and to really fuse all that artistic energy into something that you know, we're all really proud of. Thank you so much for talking with us, Sean. Thank you very much. And of course, everyone, go watch Marvel Studios Moon Knight. All episodes are now streaming only on Disney+.